let's take a look at our shape worksheets for this week because our elements of art that we're doing this week is shape. Right, here goes. When lines intersect to enclose a space, they create a shape, and shapes are two-dimensional, meaning a shape is a flat thing. Static shapes. Those are shapes that appear to be resting. And we've got a square, an octagon with eight sides, a star, a circle, oval, a diamond, a rectangle, hexagon, and a pentagon. Dynamic shapes are shapes that appear to be moving, and this dynamic effect has been created by intersecting the shapes. Have a look how these circles look as though they're jumping. Very useful in doing a diagram. Geometric shapes are man-made and often follow mathematical equations. Organic shapes are free-form shapes that we see in nature. Organic shapes are very, very popular elements of abstract art. And organic shapes, I have to tell you, are much more pleasing on the eye than what geometric shapes are very, very often. Geometric shapes are often found in things like surface pattern design or fabric design or fabric or something like that. Shapes are defined by positive and negative space. So... I'm actually going to change this shape a little bit. So if you imagine that this is the shape, that here is the positive space. That's the shape. The shape is the positive space. And all of this area around the shape is the negative space. That's all that positive space and negative space is. So if we look at this organic shapes picture here, the positive space is where the shape is and the negative space is all of this white over here. Okay, so over here you're simply going to draw, over here you're going to draw a picture using a variety of shapes. So I'm actually going to draw an animal, a funny animal like this. And I've used two ovals, a rectangle, two triangles and four rectangles. Have a look at this. I can draw an ice cream with a half circle, another half circle, and a triangle. I could draw some dynamic shapes. You can see the use of dynamic shapes in the Olympic Games logo, which is a whole lot of loop, a hoop, sorry, that go round and round like this. So an example of a geometric shape is going to be a diamond shape or a rectangle. And an example of an organic shape would be this kind of a blobby shape like that. Very easy. Okay, positive and negative space can be used to trick the eye. I want you to have a look at this over here. What do you see when you look at that? Do you see a vase or do you see a face? Okay, I want you to look carefully. Look just on this side over here. Can you see the outline of a face? Yes, and on this side over here, now look at that, there's the outline of another face. Two faces, and there's a vase inside. So this is the negative space, and a very clever use has been made of a positive space, and graphic designers often do this with logos. And when we watched that Elements of Art video a while back, we saw the FedEx logo had a very clever use of positive and negative space. And then over here, you're going to label the positive and negative space. Well, the tree over here is the positive space. And everything around the tree is the negative space. And that's all it is. Okay, so we've learned about positive and negative space. And this is how you're going to fill in your worksheets. So we're going to use the knowledge that we learned about positive and negative space to create the next section of our design booklets where we are going to use shape to draw the object that we have chosen. All right, here goes. 